honestly, when I think of a Cleveland Brown player, I just think of a, like, a blue collar worker. I mean, this whole town is just blue collar people. I mean, everybody puts on that work hat and just goes to work, kind of giving your 100% with anything, regardless of how simple it is. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. You know, before I was a player for the Browns, I was a fan, and I mean, that's like the like the top dream ever is to play for Cleveland, but you know, that first dream is let's get my foot in the NFL. I've known Jamie since high school. We met in high school and started dating. So that's 10 years ago. He was the football star in high school, and then he went on to Ashland to be another football star. Ashland is it's in Amish country, so I mean, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's, halfway in between Cleveland and Columbus where no one usually stops unless you know where it's at. <laughs> I spent my Saturdays going to watch him. Um, it was, I loved it. I loved going and watching him and seeing him be fired up out there. So when I was sick, I was diagnosed with nasopharyngeal cancer and Jamie was away at Ashland playing football and I knew he was the one then because He would go to football during the day to training camp um, and he'd be at home at night taking care of me. I had to sleep on the couch that summer so he was right there on the floor sleeping next to me. After I made it through all that, my mom was like, like, I mean everyone, everyone was just like, what a strong guy, like for him to be still living his life at football, doing what he needed to do and coming home to take care of someone that, you know, was close to him. But it just, it really proved who he is off the field. I mean, with Cleveland signing me for another year, I mean, it just I mean, it makes life so much easier in the aspect that I can be with my fiance at all times and go see my parents, my friends, my family. And I mean, it's not many other players have that luxury. Off the field, Jamie is definitely a sweetheart. And when Jamie's on the field, he is totally 100% into his game. Even in college, I'd be like, Jamie, make sure you like turn around and give me a wave. And I know I'm not getting that from him. It's so exciting to see his excitement come out because it's something you don't see often, just because he's so serious. And I think everybody needs to have that two personalities. I mean, with like the fact that you're gonna be hitting somebody for 60 minutes and where else can you do that besides on a football field? The 22, Lambeau's ready, snap back, ball down. Kick blocked. blocked! They blocked the kick! <laughs> Jamie Meter blocked the kick! Give me 11 Jamie Meters any Sunday. Coach Tabes gave us a call, told me what to do, break through that guard center gap and get my hand up. And then like after that, yeah, I was celebrating, I was so happy. And about like five minutes later, I'm like, God, I hope I blocked that because I don't feel it like my hand didn't hurt. I was like, hopefully that was me. Coach Tabes, he's a, uh, I mean, first of all, he's hilarious. Come on, kids. One time. One time for the old man. Count him up. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. He's so smart, like puts the right people in the right position at the right time and makes the right calls, obviously. Play violently as we go. You with me? Let's kick ass. Let's go. Here we go. Hit squad on three. One, two, three. Hit squad. I mean, this whole offseason, I was still at the facility working out with Evan and Adam and the whole crew there. And I mean, I, mean, I felt like I definitely got stronger. And I mean, that's one of the most important things you do in the offseason. Everybody's back now. It's competition starts. Like, hey, I want to make sure I can lift more you than you and run a little faster than you and go from there. Competition makes everything. I mean, in the weight room, it makes us better. It makes us better on the field. I mean, without it, what are we doing? Getting back into the building, meeting a new coach, you know, definitely like it's got everybody on edge because we're ready to build and become better and obviously turn the page from what happened last. <laughs>